So you guys know I am a sucker for a gimmick lure and probably one of my favorites of all time is this, the original banjo minnow. So I was rather excited when I found out that Banjo reintroduced the Banjo Minnow. So here's a new kit that I just purchased online. I actually got two of them specifically for this trip down to Florida. And we've got a few of these guys rigged up. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in, wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Well, good morning, Bassin Buds. We are out here on a windy little morning in Central Florida at a very special lake indeed with a couple of my most special bass and buds. We got John and Lindia oh, yeah. <laughs> from Small Water Charters. And per typical, I bring the weather from Texas. Retro I gotta tell you. weather. Retro <laughs> weather. <laughs> it could be like gorgeous for a month straight. I show up and here we are. The um, front moving in is exactly <laughs> over us right now. I mean. Well, it's it's supposed to calm down a little bit today. We did sit in the car for about half an hour to let this squall pass. Um, we got kind of itchy, so we got out of here anyway. Um, but we are anchored up with the power poles down in a nice little corner of headwaters. Today it's going to be an old school kind of day. Uh, drove in from uh, Texas with nothing but old school lures. So we're going to be throwing it old school today. We got some top water baits. I don't know if it's going to be too windy for top water or not. I'm we'll going to show you how to. I'm going to be yes. We can use top water. It's a retro Splash day. Big. It is a retro uh, wait, day. Wait, I got a retro one too here. Retro day. Retro day. <laughs> uh, every shirt we ever made is on this boat right now. So. <laughs> Everyone's sold. <laughs> every, everyone ever. Every exactly. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, and also, too, so here is um, a box that I brought. So this is a, a little retro box. Um, that we're gonna leave on the boat. So this is the retro small water charters tackle box Nothing but old-school golden here. And that's so, all we're fishing today. <laughs> that is all... No bruiser baits, no bass yeah. addiction. Yeah. It's all retro It's a today. retro challenge today. <laughs> <laughs> See, here y'all go. That's me off the bat. So wait, you know whose bait that is, right? No, no idea. All right, flip. He talked to it. Flip this over, lock that. On the other side, there's one in the package. I want you to see this. What, the one I picked? The one you picked. That's it. Oh, it's my boy Roland, isn't it? Yes, the Roland Martin. I'm going to show you oh, how to wow. catch one on <laughs> the Roland the Martin. The Roland Lord. Martin Diamond Jim Rattler. I'm going to catch one here in a minute. <laughs> he looks like that. Scott Martin on that one, doesn't he? Look how young he looks. He does. That's like a, I think that lure is 100 years old. So. Man, I oh, wish wow. you, we see Roland in this little cove here a lot so that'll be perfect that thing sounds pretty good though, doesn't oh, it? it's a loud and i'm gonna i'm gonna make a racket with it <laughs> this was a green one though oh like yep. a dark green but i remember that little you know that's gonna get his legs ripped clean off that's the bill Plummer super frog and he's not gonna be super for long that has the rattle oh that'll catch a bass yeah, catcher today that, has the <laughs> that one today the banjo minnow show them the one you're gonna use yeah the... lindia is gonna catch one here shortly that's on that. all me you watch. <laughs> the banjo minnow. And I'm going rolling. <laughs> what are you fishing? That is too funny you picked a rolling bait, by the way. Just yes. didn't even know. There you go. That's the story I can tell Roland now when I talk to him. <laughs> he he told me. He probably doesn't remember that lore. He's like, I don't remember that one. <laughs> he, we were out here talking, and he said, you're like me. You're a power fisherman. I was like, yes, son. Oh, oh my God. He just got off. Wait, wait, wait. He just got off. Oh, no. <laughs> First cast of the banjo minnow. <laughs> Oh, wow. See, I knew I should have given her the helicopter lure. <laughs> Sabotage her a little bit. <laughs> I know, that was just critical, a rookie mistake. <laughs> should have given her the, the flying lure or the helicopter lure. Or... <laughs> Dang rolling Martin lure. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on film. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Second cat. Banjo minnow. Look at that. Two casts in a row. <laughs> Retro bassin. Kicking some acid. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Number two on the banjo. Number three. Three on the banjo. <laughs> Fish till you hear banjos. <laughs> you know, that one is actually old, old. So that one I got from Jensen Tackle. And that's probably the 80s or 90s. I have a... I don't know if the silver is any different than it is, but... I have an eight pound, five ounce bass I caught when I was 10 years old on a Johnson Silver Minute hanging on my wall. Oh wait, is that the anniversary one? Yeah. What's it say? What? Uh, 75th anniversary. I wonder what year did it start? Then you know how old that bait is. Uh, how about 1920 to 1993 or 83? Hang on. <laughs> Film me in the wife's pretty glasses here. Nineteen ninety-five. Ninety-five. That's the, let me see that thing. Yeah. That's the year I graduated out of high school. Well, damn! I hate to fish with your high school lure. Do it. Do I'm it. I'm going to. I'm gonna catch a bass on it. That's a big old bait. That's pretty sweet. Seventy-fifth anniversary spoon. <laughs> I was trying to. Well, it'll catch. Lydia, we got our retro bass. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Finally came after it. Banjo mana. <laughs> it's a windy fish. <laughs> there we go. Uh, finally got a little one on the old banjo. <laughs> so wait a minute. <laughs> so I think I brought both the weather and the fish from Texas. Look at that. That is like a retro fish if I've ever seen one. But it's on the banjo minnow. Do a little force perspective on him. There he is. On the old banjo minnow. <laughs> Very cool. Oh man. That's why I was missing him. <laughs> the fish well, is about little. as big as a minnow. All right, here we go. Retro got him fish. <laughs> Uh, another little guy on the banjo. He hit way out there though. I thought he was a little bit bigger. Oh, here we go. In this weather, that's a giant. <laughs> there he is. Yay. Banjo minnow. So I'm kind of upgraded a little bit here, right? So I went from a, what, 10 ouncer to a to an 11 ouncer. So yeah, that's good. Your mirror on the right direction. In the right direction, right in the middle. I couldn't have lost him if I tried. And Lindia just had a big one. And I tried. Right. tried to lose it. There we go, a nice little fish on this guy. Let's Yay. see. You get all tangled up here. That's what, the seventh <laughs> fish on a banjo minnow? The banjo morning? minnow is getting it done on headwaters. That's it pretty is. funny. I'm still going to be embarrassed, though, back at the boat ramp if anybody asks how he did it. I'm going to have to say banjo minnow. Ah, we're going to rock the retro bass <laughs> and shirts. So, you guys know I am a sucker for a gimmick lure, and probably one of my favorites of all time is this the original banjo minnow um i would say that of all the gimmick lures out there this is probably one of the more legitimate ones you know a lot of gimmick lures like the flying lure the helicopter lure they have such limited applications but were really sort of portrayed as this bait that could catch everything from bluegill to blue marlin overall though i think the banjo minnow was actually a pretty good fish catcher in a lot of the conditions that you would usually find a bass, right? Shallow, weedy lakes, this thing works pretty darn well. So this is an original pack of banjo minnows that I had from back in the day. There we've got Babe Winkleman, the man with the greatest name in all of bass fishing, with a, looks like a big old muskie or pike. Um, but here are the baits themselves. Now, of these, I've opened up a few of these old school packs, and what this basically is, is a nose rigged swim bait, sort of a straight tail swim bait. Here is one uh, that I rigged up of the new model. Basically the whole gist of this bait is that 
the actual action of the lure itself is not impeded by any hook because you only have a point of contact here at the nose. Everything else below is free to just kind of wiggle and do its thing. Generally speaking, fish these things weightless, sort of like you would a soft plastic jerk bait. Now the original one uh, that it came in had a sort of a nose rig to it here and you would put the hook through that. I found over the years, and these things are probably 30 years old at this point, that plastic breaks off pretty easily. So I was rather excited when I found out that Banjo reintroduced the Banjo Minnow. So here's a new kit that I just purchased online, I actually got two of them specifically for this trip down to Florida. And we've got a few of these guys rigged up. Now one of the things right out of the gates, I gotta be honest with you, the hooks did not impress me especially fish in a lake like Headwaters where you might get a five, six, or even eight pounder on a bait like this. And this is the hook that it came with. I didn't trust these, so I went out and bought eh, what I thought was sort of the best weedless hook that I could and switched that out instead. Uh, my rig and my setup here is basically a weedless hook and that screws into the bait and then you actually just slide that right onto the hook so it swings freely. Um, so far, I think that this is the biggest banjo that they have. The kit only comes with four big ones. So I'm hoping this thing doesn't get too torn up as we catch fish, because otherwise it might not be worth the 40 or 50 bucks you gotta spend for the kit. It's banjo day. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it's a nice fish. I think we found a few fish yes, back we here. Yes, It's number six. Whoa. Look. Barely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, I'm not troubled, but remember what I said earlier? I wasn't going to switch lures. <laughs> I get I get itchy. I get it. Yeah, Lenny was going to say that, but I get itchy. I start seeing what's in my tackle box, thinking about what I hadn't thrown, thinking about what soft plastics haven't seen uh, sunlight in, you know, 30, 40 years, and next thing you know, <laughs> decisions get made. So last week when I was at the yard sale tackle shop, I picked up a bunch of soft plastics. I don't know if I got this one on camera, but this one is called the Dominator. And this one was from Phantom Tackle, which is an old uh, Texas company, I think based in Garland, Texas. So I don't know how old this bait is. This thing used to be white probably 30 or 40 years ago, and now it's not. But basically, it looks like a fluke, uh, sort of jerkbait style, but it's got a little rattle in it. And I don't know if you can hear that with this wind ripping, but it's got two spots for rattles that you can put in there, which, you know, always makes me happy. So I wasn't going to retie, but, uh, well, I did. And now John and I both have these on. So we're going to start the timer to see how long it is before Lindia switches to the Dominator, because I think she's getting itchy back there. <laughs> as soon as he gets my rod out. <laughs> When you fish retro, dominate. <laughs> <laughs> that was with the dominator with an extra rattle. Sweet, sweet. Hey, y'all have only caught retro on one retro lure. I've caught fish on two retro lures now. Yay, yay. There again, I thought I was hung. See, I'm twitching it on top and getting it. I got that one. So you pretty much just steady reel that thing. I just steady reel it, twitch it on top. That's all I'm doing, fishing it like my swim bait. Make it like a little softer top water. Let it sink in, but when I stop, see, it drops. <laughs> There's another one. It's the first one on the old Dominator. Dominator. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Pretty little fish. Look at that. That was like the second cast in the new spot. Yep. So it's crazy, but we were out here trying to hide from the wind all day. We hide from the wind and the hit, fish hit from us. Yeah. You get back out in the wind and there you go. There's a fish. Bam, bam. Sweet, sweet. Is <laughs> that your number three today? Numero three. Numero yeah. three. That's two better than last time. Well, I can speak Spanish, I say trace, but yeah, it's numero three. <laughs> Not a bad little green fish. No. Nope. Florida bass, pretty little thing. They're so healthy. Absolutely. Look at here. He's like a mini uh, lunker. Look at him. That is a mini lunker. 
Nice. That's future 10 pounder. <laughs> Number two on the old Dominator. Come on, buddy. There are dinkies coming in today, but at least <laughs> something's coming in. Hey, at least it's something. That's right. <laughs> That's your he number hit close four? close to it. Uh, yeah, I think. Is that number four? Oh my goodness. Two on the banjo, two on the dominator. Look at that. Very that nice. Cool. <laughs> Florida bass. Uh oh, I think he beat up the, the old thing. Listen to that rattle. Though. I think they hear that or not. He's too loud for that. I can hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> Very good, Chris. Yeah, that's look, a little better. Look at Chris dominating. <laughs> Eh, about the same. That's all right, though. Yeah, nice Pretty fish. fish, man. Woo! So that's what number, what's four? Six, but four on the Dominator. I think so. Of course, I'm not catching on the banjo because I'm throwing the Dominator, so that's I guess right. that's not fair anymore. Oh, but that's a nice fish. But that shows you how many fish are in this lake with this bad of weather. Time. Yes! If you just keep fishing, you'll at least catch something. Oh, that is wild. Back to back cast. Back to back. Almost. I think I got like two casts in there in between. He's still dominating. That guy. <laughs> Man, well, they're lighting up for whatever that's worth. That's cool. Yeah, something's going on. So, well, you guys are right. That sun came out, and they definitely, and you get just like a little bit of wind. Because it's not like the most pleasant spot where you've been in all day. Ain't the worst, though. Nope. All right, see you, little guy. And that just put Chris in the lead in the boat. That's a, da that's a dangerous spot for me to that's be. That's a bad place. <laughs> you should wait a jinxie. I wasn't going to say nothing. Okay. I was hoping you weren't going to say that because now it just guarantees that I'm done for the day. So <laughs> I appreciate that. I think you're just getting started there, Chris. <laughs> a little sabotage. Yes, sir. Here's another one for me. That's the nice one of the day, I think. Hey, it's getting on as a decent. But a little dominator fish. <laughs> still got your rattles intact? Yes, I still have a butt rattle. <laughs> <laughs> but that dominator hanging out his mouth. Well, is that my number six? Five. Six, I think. Oh, I thought it was five last time. I'm still catching up. I'm dominating you guys. <laughs> that's funny I quit reeling the point up at the airplane and I felt that go pop pop see I'm rigging mine on a belly weighted hook so that's running yeah, what's because you fish 90 miles an hour so I do sense. fish 90 miles an hour but I'm only like three fish down from you at 90 Hook. how about that back to back I think I ought to quit filming and start casting. <laughs> Domination. 766. Seven, six. Seven, six, six. You want to try it three in a row? I ain't going to stop now. Let's see if three in a row there. If you catch a fourth, though, you got to film it yourself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Lindy, can you edit those two things together where I jump that five and then catch this? Can we do that? You got to do it in post? <laughs> yes, I'm the witness. Chris just had about a four or five pounder, jumped in the air and spit his bait. <laughs> but he knew that I only catch retro size bait. Right, I had to back it up. So get <laughs> off here. <laughs> that was... But that's number eight for you, and we both have six of these. That is number eight, but I probably would have traded about six or seven of those eight for that one that I lost. Oh my goodness. That's all right, though. I think they're just getting biting here. Yeah, buddy. All right. Seven. So you got eight now? Huh? He got eight. Six. Oh, I'm ahead of mama now. <laughs> woot, 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 woot. So. <laughs> that don't happen much. Well, that being said, John, it, it was a dirty trick for you to tell me to give her that dominator that was soaked in the gasoline, but I did. Okay, a lot of people love the old motor oil color. I thought we'd try, <laughs> thought we'd try some gasoline scent. The little blue ring around it is okay when she throws it in. It's gonna be a long ride home. <laughs> well, look at Mr. Retro. Well, I, got my, I got my four pounder. Yes, you do. 
It's a bowfin. Holy mackerel, look at this guy. Have you caught them before? I haven't touched them, so can you grab them? Not in the mouth. Can you grab by the... the... Yes, Lindy, will you grab his camera and I'll, <laughs> I'll help him here. You don't want to lift... Well, that's a pretty looking fish, though. It's a pretty fish. Mean looking dude. They are mean looking dudes. Holy cow, look at that. Bring him down this way. I'm trying to keep where Lindy can watch. So I can grab them if you just, can you grab them by the body? Sometimes, I mean, you gotta be careful, they're, they're biters. Oh, they're biters, but they're, uh, okay. Look at that guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm gripping them as hard as I can grip him. <laughs> <laughs> they're angry. Imagine Lindy had a 12 pounder. Yeah, just choke, give him yeah. a choke hole. I'll give him a choke Oh Say my goodness, like a freshwater tuna, look at that guy. A pretty, look at the black marks on him and all. It's a pretty fish. Yeah. So that's a, is that a bowfin? Yes, that's a bowfin. A mudfish. How that's big is that? In Louisiana, it's a grinnel. Okay. That's probably four pounds. Easy. Yeah. I got my four pounder anyway. You huh? did. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Wow. He smoked it. I thought that was a bass for a minute. Oh, I think. Oh. From a big bowfin <laughs> to a tiny little bass. I tell you what. But that's your double-digit fish in the boat. Is that That's oh, number that is 10. Number 10. Nine bass, one bowfin. Not too bad. Now that is what you call a retro bass right there. That's, That's a retro that bass. We, so by the way, second bass that I've got, is that bird marks? Probably. The bird going after him? Or another bass trying to choke him. Okay. Something's definitely marking him. Nice. Cool. You're packing up. Mama's catching. <laughs> so what are you saying? You were just commenting about this. Yeah. <laughs> that mama's going to catch one while we're getting stuff together. That gives you how many now, baby? Eight. She's still one behind me. Hurry, pack up, pack up, pack up, let's go, let's go. I'm ahead. You sit here five more minutes, I'll be tied. Six more minutes, I'll be behind. Especially if you sit here talking to me and I'm filming. If we're definitely gonna be tied. I'll catch fish, I should be throwing while you're filming. All right, Bass and Buds, we are wrapping up a pretty awesome day on headwaters with small water charters. So we wrapped up. The count was tough to keep because every time we thought we were done for the day, like rods put away, cameras turned off, Lindy is catching another bass. So we ended up with, I think, 28 bass on the day, which they said it was a pretty slow day. It seemed like a pretty good day for me. Um, as far as the baits we caught them on, definitely uh, check one thing off the bucket list. So last time that we fished in Florida with these two Bass and Buds, I think somebody said several in the comments people. sections, several people, if you guys had only had a banjo minnow, you would have torn them up. So we answered the call, we fished with the banjo minnow, and we actually caught a few fish on the banjo. It wasn't too long though in the day until we switched gears and started throwing this guy, the Phantom Tackle. We're gonna call this the Dominator. I think it comes up by a couple different names, but the one that we were fishing with, I think we'll call the Dominator. All three of us ended up fishing the Dominator at the end of the day but very different ways. John pretty much reels that thing like high speed on the surface. Lindy, you're sort of in between, and then I'm kind of just slow jerking it. So all three of us were getting hits all day long. Pretty consistent pick, but it's kind of funny how I think we got kind of right in their wheelhouse, throwing an old school bait. This one's a new one. This one, probably older than me. Um, we did hope to see Roland Martin, one of, you know, kind of my heroes. John said he fishes this lake a lot, we didn't see Roland, but his truck. is right there. It's right there. <laughs> Even brought this, the Roland Martin Diamond Rattler. Didn't get a chance to uh, get it signed. However, uh, John dared me to go stick a retro bass and sticker on his car, and I'm gonna do it. There it says, efficient old school Roland. He's probably gonna be weirded out when he That'd gets back to the about. boat ramp. Going, what the heck is this? But we're gonna do it anyway. Um, bass and Buds, do me a favor. So uh, we are, as you know, on the cusp of 10,000 subs. Just kind of mind blowing. These guys are at nine, 800, 819. So just on the cusp of a thousand, just on the cusp of getting monetized. So do me a favor, go on head over to Small Water Charters, like and subscribe. Likewise, if you guys ever get down to Florida, Central Florida, 
Um, I know we're going to be here a pretty good bit coming up. Definitely look these two up. If you guys do book a trip with small water charters, let them know old retro sent you and we'll throw in a retro bass and hat and decal as well. So, um, <laughs> plus our small water charters decal in there. Plus and the small water charter and the retro discount. I'll take, retro I'll take 25 bucks off for <laughs> 25 bucks. There we go. And likewise, discount. we're going to be leaving this, the old retro small water charters collab box. So, this will be on the boat when you get here. That's right. It's going to only have old <laughs> That'll be the retro lures. lures. Yep. So if you really want to just have a go at it, you know, on the best bass lake in the world and fish with gimmick baits, they can do that too. <laughs> Until next time, bass and buds, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. And what do you say, Mama? Fishing is fun. Fishing is fun. Especially today. Aha! Yep. So is that his truck? That's Mr. Rowland's <laughs> truck right there. All right, I'm going to put your pin on the sticker just in yeah. case. So he knows kind of where it comes from. He don't from. think I'm some kind of stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I kind of am. Yeah. He's been a fun man to get to know. I was so hoping we could introduce you today. <laughs> we'll go over and look at Rowland's truck. Rowland Martin's truck. There he is. <laughs> Probably got cameras on in this thing too, huh? Probably not. Ret retro stalking. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's, uh, there we go, guys. <laughs> Look, there's his nitro boat trailer. Yep, yep, yep. But he got that close to rolling while he was here. <laughs> Pretty close. As close as it gets. Yep, yep. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.